Hello, my criminal justice enthusiasts, and welcome back to Prison Architect. In the last episode, we completed Chapter 2, Palermo, and in this episode, we're going to start Chapter 3. So let's go ahead and jump in and see what Chapter 3 has to offer. CNDC. wonder if they actually do good news broadcasts. We'll see. Riot at Alchemico State Prison. Staff and security have withdrawn to the perimeter to wait for military assistance. Yeah, the CEO screwed up bad this time, didn't he? A number of personnel are still unaccounted for, including company CEO Charles Wallace. <laughs> yep, he really screwed up this time. All right. Rioting erupted following the arrest of several high-profile judges. Alleged to have taken kickbacks in return for imposing harsher prison sentences. Eee. Douglas Benedict, currently serving a life term, is believed to be the ringleader behind the outbreak of violence. Adding fuel to the fire, sources say the criminal underworld has recently been rocked by a series of high-profile murders, including the attempted assassination of mob boss Victor Palermo last month. Yep, dead, dead, two-face, dead man walking. City Mayor Calvin Heller released this statement just a few moments ago. To those who question our policies of punitive reform, this should act as a stark reminder. These men have housing and food provided, the privilege of paid work. This is how they reward the taxpayers who subsidize their comforts. CEO Char Charles Wallace's deputy, a relative newcomer to the post, has been tasked with restoring order. Great. So I gotta fix the boss's mess up. Again. It has yet to be seen whether a lack of experience will prove costly during this difficult crisis. I know what I'm doing, lady. My boss just doesn't. Okay. Wow. Alright, things are real bad. Real, real bad. So, we're not going to get away without having somebody die. Um, we got all these guards who are unconscious up here, including with keys. We've got our people up here. They're out of their facilities. Alright, I got an incoming call from the negotiator. It's out of control here. Nobody is in charge. I'll take charge. Don't worry about it. We've got multiple casualties and the remaining guards won't go into the rioting cell blocks. We've had to pull back to the perimeter. Figure out what to do and put a stop to this before it gets out of hand. Riot police should be here in a few minutes. Alright. I want it paused. Yes, we're going to go to emergency services. We're going to need them. And they are going to be sent down here to deal with this. So, we're going to put one group here. And one group starting up here. And I'm going to see if I can hire a doctor and see if she can help here. Let's go ahead and unpause and see what happens. Yes, she is helping. They're tired and they're injured, but they aren't dead. That's a good start. Fire department is here. That's a, also a good start. So she's taking care of them. These guys are getting through. That's good. Hopefully they're not planning on going into any of these areas where the riot is going on. That would be bad. Alright, so she's getting them all healed up. Let's go ahead and put another doctor up here. Let's go ahead and have three in total. We're going to need them probably here in the future. Alright, there's random food sitting out here, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Let's get to this fire first. Alright. People are probably dying in there. They're on, on their way. 90 prisoners are riding because I think four of them have died. Alright, what's the negotiator got to say? 
First, the response team has arrived. These guys are riot guards and they're much more heavily armored. Use these guys to start retaking the captured prison wings. We've also got some paramedics from the nearby state hospital. I suggest you use them to give emergency medical attention to your riot guards as they retake the prison. Alright, so that's a good thing. We've got them in place. We have these guys are almost on scene. Looks like they're going to be positioned properly there. I've got a riot probably going on in there and in these two buildings here. I think I'm going to retake this building first, then retake this building after the fire's out, then come down and deal with this building. So where's the entrance here? All right, the entrance is there. So I want you to get in here, and I want you to be right there. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so they're in position. They're starting to put out the fires. That is good news. Let's actually go ahead and move you a little bit closer. All right. Move up into this area. Alright, they have suppressed the prisoners in this area. Which is good. And these guys are fighting this fire decently here. Oh, one of my guys has been injured. Would like you guys to move up though. If at all possible. Alright. Fall back slightly so that the injured guy can get taken care of. Alright. The injured guy's been taken care of. Let's go ahead in there. Move back down here. How is the fire going? No, not all the way around the outside. Right over there. That will hopefully take care of the fire then. I've got one guy that's injured. And I actually want to bring my medical staff up in there with them. Looks like most of those guys are unconscious, so that's a good thing. Alright, so these guys have been taken care of. Let's go ahead and retake this facility. And we'll get the people down there to help them out. More riot guards have arrived. Good. I could use them. I'm hoping that the fire is out, but I'm not positive of that. Alright. Let's get these riot guards also down in here. So we'll have them join up. And we're just going to have them actually come right in here when they get here. As soon as they get there. I'm going to have the emergency guys there for right now because I don't know if there's any other issues going on. I can't see in there, so I'm not sure. Alright. You guys move up as well.
All right. So my guards seem to be doing a number on prisoners. All right, get up there so that you can help retake this area. All right. Come back down this way. Come back down this way. Get all the injured guards taken care of. All right. So all my injured guards are taken care of. Group one and group two. Storm in there. Billy clubs are swinging. Take them out. And then my medical staff get in here, come and help the guards so that they don't die. All right, guards move up, guards move up. All right, uh, now the mayor's calling. Let's see what he wants. I assume this is the CEO's deputy with whom I'm speaking. Sure, I didn't have a title before, but I'll take deputy. Sounds good to me. I appreciate this is a very difficult time and we're all under intense scrutiny. Rest assured, you have my full support in using any and all resources at your disposal. We've gained a foothold and retaken some of the prison, and loss of life so far is completely justifiable. But before you push on and retake the rest of the prison, you re should re-secure the wings that you have captured. Hire some guards and assign them to the recaptured sectors of the... D yeah, all right. Working on authorizing an armed response team that will put an end to this quick. Okay. So let's go ahead and pause. Looks like the fire seems to be out. So that's good news. Let's do deployment. Let's have a... Let's have two guards assigned there. Let's have three guards assigned there. Two guards there. Two guards there. Two guards there. Actually, not two guards there. We just need this area. All right. And how many guards do I have on staff even right now? All right. So again, let's go to deployment. So in the actual areas, let's have guards in those areas. All right. We've taken the shower, we've taken this whole entire cell block, and deployments in the areas, so that way they're all secure. I want to get into this building because I really want to find out what's happened in here. So let's go ahead and put you, and you, and then we will have you coming right there. My concern is if the fire is out or not. If the fire's not out, then I need to get it out. Alright, so the guards easily took care of that guy. Move one group here. One group here. And move the... Well, I'll move the nursing people in as soon as the area is secured. All right, and now that we have a foothold in this building, I want to assign a couple of guards to that front part there. Good. I want to go down first because I want to see what's gone on in this room. So, I'm actually going to deploy 
several guards in this room for right now, just so they can hold that corridor. Then we're going to put these guards here. And here. And have the medical staff coming in shortly after them. The doctor. You've got wounded all over the prison and more to come, no doubt. You can't just leave them to bleed to death. Build an infirmary somewhere on site and hire doctors to treat the injured. Find a few bodies for the sake of their dignity. We need to build a morgue and start collecting them. They'll need to hire workmen to do construction work. Be sure to keep them safe. All right. That was playing while I was having to read that. So I want all of my guys to go back here at once so that they can get treated. Because I don't know who's injured now. Actually, let's go ahead and bring the firefighters over here as well. So that way they can get treated by the paramedics at the same time. Alright. We need another guard here. Now, I don't need these three guards here anymore, but I'm going to need... Let's go three here because of the fact that the walls are missing in this area. Alright, so this guard has been assaulted. Hopefully he's going to be okay. Alright, the guard is unconscious. More riot guards have arrived. Good. Alright. So, I have even more riot guards. I think the fires are all out. All of my firefighters can leave at this point. These riot guards are going to push in here, as are these. And these can actually meet us over here, because by the time they get over here, will have taken this building. Okay, so it looks like this is the bad guy. Listen up, we've got your CEO. Yeah, he's not worth much, don't worry. He really is bad at his job. Okay, you beat the hell out of him. Good job. So this is how it works. I ask, you give. Yeah, that's never how it works. Have you never watched any of these negotiations? Any problems, send anyone in, or even... If I even smell a cop, I put a bullet in his skull. Well, I'm not really attached to him too much, so I'm not sure I care. We want an unmarked vehicle, blacked out windows, full tank, one hour, I'll be in touch. Alrighty then. And I heard a fight going on. I don't know where the fight's going on. I'm concerned about the fight. I'll get to you in a second here, Mayor. Alright. So I want this group to get back here by the... by the medical people. Actually, this group come down here and take care of these two guys. Yes, yes, yes. All right, I'll listen to you. This is completely unacceptable. We need eyes on that canteen so we can see what's happening. There's a small security room to the north of the canteen. We need to secure it. Deploy some guards in there to man CCTV console. We'll get vision of the whole cell block. Okay, okay. Everybody wants something all at the same time. All right, so first things first, you go in there, you go in there, you go in there. Paramedics, you go right there.
And while that's happening, we've gotten control of this area up here. So we're going to put... Let's go ahead and put four security people in there. We've got the three down here. So they're all taken care of. All right. Let's see how this plays out. Okay, we got two guys with sticks in there versus our security forces. And they have been beaten unconscious thoroughly. Good job. Can you guys let me do my job first? Then you can call. Let's put three in there. Well, two in there. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and click that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you know when I produce new videos. Thank you for watching, and remember, behave yourselves out there, otherwise I may have to create a new cell for you.